Hi, Sarah here for UK Scrap Addicts. This month we are focusing on sewing, so I have a layout today with some stitching on it. First off, I'm going to work on my background though. I'm using some Distress Oxides and I do speed this up quite a lot, but show the whole process. I just blend out my lighter colour right across the area that I want um, to do. As you could see before, I had a little frame that's um, like to represent the sun and I'm doing a bit of a sunburst and I just marked out approximately where I wanted it to go so that I could make sure that my darker colour in the middle could blend out from there. So I add my orange then go back in with the yellow to blend that out and I do do that a couple of times over. I then after um, add some water and just dab that off just to add a little bit more interest so it's not just a sunburst I did want a few splashes on there and I've got this lovely gold ink as well I cover up the rest of my layout so I've got a nice white stark um, area as well and once that is dried I'm just adding some tape with my ATG gun this is so that I can add some ribbon in a ruffle and then once it's added I will add stitches over the top so in order to do this I hold the ribbon above me and work down the um, adhesive just tucking it in it's not really neat or anything I don't do it so that they're all even I just do a nice rough ruffle rough ruffle down the page and then just trim it off at the bottom and I'm doing it in yellow and an orange as well just for a bit of variety there and now that those ruffles are down I then go off and use my sewing machine just to stitch those down so there's my sewing done and I do as well add masking tape to make sure that it doesn't unravel at any point and I do stick down the um, front as well because I will be covering up that area later so next up I'm using the papers to create my paper cluster embellishment cluster um, I'm using a older um, Mind the Scrap kit for this one. Um, I will link the shop below if you do fancy buying one yourself. I did purchase this uh, probably over a year ago now, so they won't have this partic particular one, but you can go and check them out. And I'm just building up some colourful layers. To I really wanted to use that um, yellow through to orange ombre paper. That was main focal, but I wanted a few others because the photograph is off my little boy and he's at um, a fair on a promenade near the beach so I wanted lots of colourful bits like ice cream and there's um, some bouncy balls on there and things like that and I'm just gluing down my layers um, with a bit of foam in between here and there just to add a little bit of height to my layout and I do find that it makes it easier for adding uh, embellishments later it just means that you don't have to put them all on top or all underneath you can tuck them in here and there and now I'm just adding some extra foam just on the bottom and that is my paper um, photo cluster done and now I'm going to glue down the um, oh, no I'm not, I'm gluing down a little flag that I had, uh, also came in the kit and also my little title which is just that little phrase there which fitted perfectly along the bottom of my photo and now this is how I'm going to add my um, inside of my sun, it's matching the um, papers on the other side and I just use some gel medium, it's a great glue for adding on top of things that aren't necessarily just paper and now in order to lift this frame up I have added just a bit of um, 3D foam pads there and now I'm going to fussy cut out some butterflies I hate fussy cutting but sometimes you just gotta do it <laughs> so I don't show the whole of this because I'm by no means very good at it so I can't really offer you any <laughs> advice I'm afraid apart from the better the scissors the least worse it comes out <laughs> So now I'm just going to add some stickers here and there. I'm trying to make sure that I have them all around the edge of my photo so it's all nicely balanced. And then I'm going to add the butterflies last of all so that I can choose where I feel like they'll be placed best because they're going to be the most three-dimensional of my embellishments. So as you can see, I just stuck all those um, 
stickers all around the edge I did lift up a few by putting them either on a higher layer than the others or adding a little bit of foam just to add a bit more interest to that cluster there and as you saw I did add extra foam behind that butterfly too and now I'm just doing a few final enamel dots and other little bits because I don't want to add any mixed media to that bottom piece but I still wanted to add some sort of little dots around the edge and I also add these cute puffy stickers just because I had them and they just go really nicely with this so I just choose a few that I think go well in amongst the other embellishments and I think that is me just about done so thanks for joining me today please do check out what everyone else is doing on the youtube channel and subscribe if you haven't already i also leave the link to my personal channel below if you want to go and check me out there and do head over to the facebook group to share any of your sewing inspired layouts over there too all the links will be in the description have a great day everyone bye